हेलो एवरी वन आई एम गौरव एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल कोर्ट द जी डी बाई दी एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व द फेमस प्रॉब्लम रिमूव डुप्लीकेट फ्रॉम अ शॉर्टेड आइज दिस क्वेश्चन हैज टू वेरिएशन एंड आई विल डिस्कस द सोल्यूशन ऑफ बोथ दी वेरिएशन आई विल ऑल्सो टेल यू द ब्रूट फोर्स वे टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड द ऑप्टिमाइज वे एंड एट द एंड आई विल कोड फॉर द ऑप्टिमाइज सोल्यूशन So let's dive right in. The problem states that I am given an array, and I have a certain conditions. The array will be in increasing order, like it will be a sorted array, and I know that the array has repeated elements. So I need to find the number of unique elements in this array. For example, you can see this array: zero, zero, one, one, two, 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 three, four times, and then four. i need to find out the number of unique elements and for this it is 5 i have 5 unique elements 0 1 2 3 4 which add up to 5 but i don't need to return 5 i need to modify this existing array such that all unique elements are at the front 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 the length of this array is more than 5 so i don't care about the other elements i need to modify this array such that all unique elements are at the front and in ascending order and i need to return the number of unique elements so first let me tell you about the brute force solution we will use an ordered map for brute force let's say this is my map now for the brute force we will traverse to the entire input array for example i go to the first element i see the value is 0 i put it into my map so oh, i can put a dummy value 0 is true then i go to my second element i see 0 i put it in my map now since my map already has 0 it will overwrite this location it will not create a new element so then i go to 1 i put 1 in my map then i go i see 2 is a new element so 2 gets entered in the map next time 2 is already present so it does nothing and it will go on till we traverse the entire array and my final map will contain these values now once i have traversed the array i will traverse my map since my map is an ordered map it will store all the numbers in ascending order so first element will be 0 so i see 0 and i put it at the first location of my array i put 0 here then i have got 1 so i put 1 here in place of these then i see 2 and 3 and 4 and i fill values till this element and i don't care about the remaining elements my function will return the size of the ordered map which is the number of unique elements in the array and i have also modified my input array such that the first elements of my array are unique so this is my brute force solution talking about space complexity i had to use a whole new map to store the unique elements so the space complexity will be order of n now the size of the map will be n in case all the elements of my input array are distinct in that case my map will have all the elements talking about time complexity i had to traverse my array n times because the size of the array is i'm assuming size of the array to be n so i had to traverse my array n times and i had to enter data in the map n times so time complexity to insert one element in the map is log of n since this is ordered map and we have to do this n times so time complexity is order of n log n plus we have to perform another operation after i created my map i had to traverse through my map to put data back into the array from the beginning now the size of the map can be n 
and time complexity to add data to the array is 1 so it will be n log n plus order of o of n so these are my space and time complexities for my brute force solution now we can optimize this with a more optimized solution for my optimized solution i will use a two pointer approach i will have one pointer pointing at the first element and the second pointer pointing at the second element i will name my pointers i and j now my i will always have unique elements present in it now let's see the execution so my logic will be if the value at position i is equal to value at position j i will increment my j so for this case since j and i both have zero i will remove j from here and i will increment it to this location now i see that j has a different value than i in that case i want to store this new element after my previous i so for that i will increment this i and i will store this new value in the position of new i now this is going to be my entire logic and I will iterate the entire array based on this logic. Let's do a dry run of this approach and see how it plays out. So next I increment j since i and j both are same. So I will increment my j and I see that so i is pointing to this position. I see that j and i both are same again. So I remove j from here and point it here. Now I see that j is 2 and i is 1 so i increment my i and i store this 2 in this position now i increment j again and i see it has 2 i also has 2 so i will increment j again we have again got 2 so i will increment now when j arrives here it, it has got 3 but i still has 2 so i, I will increment i and i will store this 3 at this position now i will increment j j has 3 and i also has 3 so next again increment j j has again 3 now increment j and j is 4 and i is 3 so both are not equal so i increment my i and i store this new value at this position now j can't go further j has run through the entire array so we stop the execution here now we need to return i plus 1 as the number of unique elements because we were incrementing i only when we got a unique element when j got a new element so i will represent the end of the array where unique elements are present for example i is here at 4 so uh, and if you look this is the index 4 also so we know that the array has 5 unique elements and we have also modified the array to contain only unique elements for example the new array will look something like this 0 1 2 3 4 and we don't care about the remaining elements so the first five elements are all unique which were present in the original array so this is going to be my solution talking about space complexity we didn't use any extra space so it has got space complexity of order of 1 and talking about time complexity we had to iterate this entire array only once so the time complexity is of the order of n so these are my complexities now let's code for it now this is a problem in lead code so i will use their editor to code for this now in this approach we had used two pointers i and j i will name my pointers exactly the same a few moments later this is my coded solution uh, as you can see i had two pointers i and j in my solution also i have named my first pointer i which will point at the zeroth location and j will start from one and j will iterate till the end of the array now as per my condition here if value at i is equal to value at j i will increment j i have done exactly the same thing here and otherwise i will increment i and assign the value of j to i so i have done that here and i have returned the number of unique elements as well as modified the input array now if i run it 
my test cases will pass because I had already tried it before. So this is for remove duplicate elements from a sorted array. Now there's a second variation of this problem. To do a quick recap, we looked at the remove duplicates from a sorted array problem. We saw both the brute force and optimized solution for this problem. The code for this problem is attached in the description below. So do check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, like it and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Code with GD. Till then, happy coding. Bye-bye.